we are extremely critical of efforts of, in running in the Democratic Party. And that's why yeah, I know I've noticed. <laughs> yeah, you so you probably have seen some criticisms that we have. Yeah, had. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, of course I have. On rumors of you running, because I don't think it's official yet. Uh, and I want to pose this question to you, and then we can have, I usually have a free flow conversation, but I have a few questions, then Savvy will jump in with some questions. You notice how I said this is a free flow conversation? Notice when, later in this conversation, when she's really feeling the heat, she abandoned that concept, with I, which I explained before. And I was like, she was like, oh my God, why are you explaining to me? You mansplain the two-state solution. I'm like, I told you this is a conversation. This isn't MSNBC. This is not the Vanguard or any access media. I am not thankful for you for coming on. You asked to come on, so we are having a conversation. And I want you to realize that she deflects from that. She's like, oh my God, why are you interrupting me? Because you're rambling. You are rambling like a dishonest politician. And I am not going to allow you to, to gaslight and mislead our audience. So well, I want you to keep that point in mind. Because I literally told her so many times, this is a conversation. And if you're not willing to have the conversation, you are wasting my time. And if if the interruption at the end didn't happen, I would have told her that. I have, I had so many things I could have said, which why I was mad. But anyway, let's continue. Questions as well. Uh, I worked on the Bernie campaign, quit my job, <laughs> put a lot of labor hours into the Bernie campaign. I know I, I had so many conversations, met with people, talked with people who was broke, struggling, who was still donating money to the Bernie campaign. One hundred million dollars spent by the working class on the Bernie campaign. And what did we get? We get, we got a guy in a movement who threw away his political revolution, who abandoned his outside game. And what I consider a hundred thousand dollars, sorry, $100 million thrown in the drain. Now what we got by investing that kind of money is literally PR agents of the democratic party. Bernie Sanders is a war pig who funding war. They are apologizing for the same things they used to criticize Trump for. So I see that as a wa massive waste of the working class money to do that again, especially someone wanting, running in the Democratic Party and someone I view as being a little bit too soft on Biden Democratic Party. So I'm going to ask you, why do you think people should invest in your campaign considering what we already wasted? Well, I think much of what you said is a legitimate argument. I think there are a lot of legitimate points to be made here. Uh, one of the times I saw you, Sabi, you were mentioning something that I had said about running as a Democrat and being nostalgic for the F uh, Democratic Party of FDR. And you said... What does this have to do with my question? I'm going to keep asking that every time. Look at this. On your show, oh, Marianne, that Democratic Party doesn't exist anymore. Well, you're right, actually. And that's why I was hoping you were actually going to write. I almost once said, well, let me on it, because you're right. And I certainly understand someone your age, you haven't even seen that Democratic Party, whereas I at least have some. Nothing to do with the question I asked. I asked her, why should the working class invest in the Democratic Party that is neoliberal and pro-war? Some institutional memory. My point to that is so the, the corporatist Democrats would say to, to progressives that we're trying to hijack the party. They hijack the party. Now, your argument seems to be then don't even give any money or anything to do with the Democratic Party. I, I can see that argument, but to me, there's. Uh, I can see that argument, but fuck that shit. I got money to make. <laughs> uh, I can see the argument why the working class shouldn't care about giving their money to millionaires like me, but uh, I'm going to take the money anyway. This is the clown that the vanguards and many of the deeply unserious boutique left people are pushing. There's another argument which aligns with my, my view more, which is, first of all, I don't agree that Bernie Sanders made no difference. Uh, Medicare for all is now a mainstream, uh, mainstream issue in a way that it would never have been. Had and by the way, my argument was not that Bernie made no difference. I told him it was a waste of time because we spent that money funneling into a, a movement that became PR agents of the Democratic Party and became war pigs who are funding war. The nuclear clock is at the closest it ever been to doomsday because of the votes of the progressives. 
She's not acknowledging any of this. Did he not run? The whole idea of the egregious uh, gap between the functioning of this government and advocacy for the working people of the United States, I don't think would be in the mainstream dialogue the way it is had Bernie Sanders not run for president. And I also think if, and once again, I'm not saying you should do it, but I do say if all of us say to hell with the Democratic Party and just leave, then you're going to have two. Already we have a corporate duopoly. Already we have a situation. We have one party completely bought and sold by the corporatists. We have another party which tries to have it both ways. But if we all leave, then you've got two major parties doing that. So I simply submit that it is as legitimate those of us who feel like working within the Democratic Party as those working out. To me, the, the break... No, you guys is stop great. great energy. So the, see, now, this is the part where Marianne started getting frustrated with me. But, bro, I asked her this question at about the five-minute mark about Bernie Sanders and why we should invest in her campaign. Two minutes in, two minutes into her answer, not, not, not an answer to my question. So I'm like, okay, we got a limited amount of time. I am not going to allow you to bullshit my audience and come out here and give the speech that you want to give. Because Marianne Williamson saw the pressure that RBN was putting on them, on her. So she wanted to show up on our show just to say she made an RBN appearance. I showed up at RBN. I answered her questions. They nodded along. They liked me. They, she was trying to come here infiltrate to defang us maybe to give us a little elbow here so we can get along so we stop criticizing her because she saw how easy that was to do with the vanguard and at breaking points and with Bree. so she's like let's just go on rbn i'm gonna give some little i'm gonna give some bullshit political filibuster answers that we all heard before and then i'll be part of the rbn family because I, I, i'm i'm assuming they for access made a miscalculation so this is, I'm trying to get her back online. Let me, let, let's continue watch. The working class, we only have a finite amount of resources. We're not like the corporations, the neoliberals and the conservatives. They can spend an endless amount of money on, on, on this cash. That hundred million dollars is hundred million dollars that not going. Yeah, to but that was not, that was, that was an, a, a working person who gave $5 or gave $10. Or I would argue that many people, and many people I know who are working people who gave five or $10 feel that that money went towards Bernie being able to put on the stage the ideas that he did. I feel the same way about me. We did not pay their money just to talk and tweet about Medicare for All. We paid their money because we thought they would fight for it. I'm going to explain here. I, I, I'm getting ahead of my own answer. <laughs> I'm arguing with her again. I, I'm going to let it play. I'm going to let it play a little more. Am I talking and, about and, reparations? And I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. Yeah. And Bernie abandoned his outside movement. Like, we had marches for Medicare for all that we couldn't get the people to tweet about. And Medicare for all as a movement within the Democratic Party is dead. And Biden, I'm sorry, Bernie killed the revolutionary energy needed while people was asking and demanding Medicare for all by now telling people that the Democratic Party and Biden is okay. Biden said he would veto Medicare for all. There's not even a discussion on the public option. So there's no That's argument right. to be made that we've gone forward on the healthcare issue. Mm -hmm. We have gone backwards because now you got progressive DSA sheep herding people to the Democratic Party that would never give you Medicare for all. You guys see how easy it was to swap that talking point aside? Oh, Bernie introduced the idea of Medicare for all. No, he did not. The Green Party did. He, can, he popularized it. But there always been progressive ideas in this country. What Bernie did is take people who believe in popular progressive ideas and then sheepdog them in a party that will never accomplish it. And if you're going to do that, okay, you're not as radical as me, okay? Let's say you're not as radical as me, right, and you vote for Joe Biden, and you care about Medicare for All, you would think that, they, that you would at least show up to the March for Medicare for All, Riley, right? That you would at least force the vote, right? Nope. They abandoned Medicare for all, but Marianne Williamson in the professional managerial class in the year 2023, where we are no closer to get Medicare for all, want us to worship the altar of Bernie Sanders and these sellouts for accomplishing jack shit on healthcare. But apparently us investing five, $10 every paycheck is okay as long as they tweet about it and keep the conversation alive. That's clown shit. All the issues we need them to raise awareness on, they are not.
Medicare for all is already popular. We need to raise awareness about the risk of World War III and nuclear war. We need to call out Biden and the Democratic Party for complicit being complicit with funding the police state. These are issues we need to raise awareness on, and these are issues that you guys are not touching. In fact, you did everything you can to avoid talking about Ukraine in this episode. 